This is JC with Scorpio Tarot. Thank you for joining me again. Uh, this is going to be a reading for the Earth sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, please keep in mind, not everything in this reading will resonate with you, so take what's yours and leave the rest for someone else. As always, the roles could be reversed, so flip it as you may see fit. These readings are meant to be timeless, so whenever you're drawn to see this reading, that is when you're drawn to see this reading. Uh, I've gone ahead and pulled the cards for you to save time on the shuffling because nobody wants to watch me shuffle for five to ten minutes. So let's get to your reading, Virgos. So Virgos, I'm kind of doing these readings a little bit out of order. I appreciate all the likes and the views that I got for the Earth signs last last time I set out these readings. You guys are amazing. You guys broke some records of that were on my channels that before, you know, I like, think I was only getting like maybe 80 views and I, we broke like over a hundred on a sub, some of your earth uh the earth videos so thank you thank you so much for the the support and the views the likes comments um thanks for all that information so let's get to your reading shall we so where it goes for you guys this uh this month or towards the end of this month or whenever you, you see this video you guys are kind of, you and your person, is the person you came to this reading for, are kind of seeing this situation as a heavy burden for each other. Like, you're just carrying so much weight and so much, you know, baggage that it's weighing your this relationship down. Um, and I kind of feel that with, you know, with that being said, it's kind of like a, there, it's like there's not, un, there's an uneven equal give and take. And, you know, anytime with the, with the six of six of pentacles, this is about giving and receiving. It's like, as you can see, that he's giving and and he's holding the scales. So there, it's got to be a balanced, balanced out, uh, you know, reciprocal effect of giving and taking, giving and taking. And I kind of feel that like one of you or both of you feel that this has been one has been given more than the other, or and kind of have created this heavy burden on on each on this relationship. And, but, you know, at the same time, you don't really have to, you could kind of see it as it is a heavy burden. It is, you know, any, adding love into any situation is, is a heavy burden, but it's a burden worth carrying. You know, love is the highest vibrational energies out there. So, you know, you're seeing that finish line of carrying this burden, but kind of turn it, flip it around and say, and kind of see it as a view is like, this is a burden that I want to carry. This is the burden. This is what I want. This is, you know, I'm going to have this equal give and take with my person. I'm going to, you know, sh they're going to give me equally. You guys have to put that positive spin on relationships. And you guys are doing it. You're working hard towards this relationship. You know, I kind of see it as a working hard towards a relationship. Um, it is, it's like, I mean, there might be not, you might be a little tiresome, but it's worth it. It's, it's definitely worth it. So, Virgos, what you guys got for your card is Knight, Knight of Wands. So you're coming in here pretty hot. You're pretty coming in here passionate. You really want this relationship. You want to be, you want to take a couple risks, uh, risks that are going to be big payouts. They're going to be huge payouts for you. Uh, it's just like kind of, kind of get yourself out of that. It's kind of get you out of that comfort zone that you've always been in and kind of like charge forward with this, with this fire and passion in your heart to find to have this relationship work out for you because you're finding the strength you got the strength card you're finding the strength to you know you're getting that confidence you're drawing in you know you're hitting the gym you're doing stuff to make you more attractive you're dressing up nicer you're changing your wardrobe this is going to end up to a, be a strong caring relationship that's what you want with the the passionate card of the knight of wands the knight of wands is kind of they're they're fearless, courageous lovers, but they're also difficult, a little difficult to commit because they're a little rash, radical, you know, they don't, they're charging forward with all this passion, you know, passion and emotions, but are pretty intense. So you might overshoot your, your you know, you might overshoot with all the passion that you've been giving. And so that's where it kind of gets a little confusing with the, it's your enthusiastics is what you pretty much could say, you know, so your person got the got the strength card again you have the strength card too so they're finding that courage they're finding that that inner strength they're getting that confidence the strong they want this strong caring relationship with you 
They want to help you carry some of those wands off your back. You know, they want, this is going to be, you know, this might be heavy for one person, but if you have two people carrying that same load, it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier having to deal with the relationship. Now, with, they're getting the courage with their strength card. They have their, that's their main energy towards the relationship. They're finding the courage. They're finding the courage to step forward, to make that decision, to come towards you, to come rushing towards you like a knight in shining armor and open, make this commitment work. Make this commitment an equal give and take between you and, the, and this person they came to the screen for. They're, they're rushing in. They're, they're like sprinting. You see the, the, the horse is in full stride and they, they are at the position where like they're throwing up their sword and go, charge, like charge, this is where I'm going. This I know where I'm going. I have a firm grip of where my thoughts are. I have a firm grip of where I'm heading in life. And my, my life is heading towards Virgo. And Virgo alone is carrying this passion torch, you know, lighting your way. You're lighting the way with your passion. You know, you're saying, I'm here. I'm waving my, my fire here. See the smoke, see the light and darkness? It's over here. Come get it. So I like the reading Virgo. It's really, it's really intense. I'm kind of, I've been trying to get more acclimated with like talking more and going on live stream somewhere else and on other apps and kind of just talking. So it's, it's helping me out get past my public speaking and, you know, so thank you again. Thank you Virgos for joining me. Uh, I appreciate all the love. The, the likes, the views. Thank you. Thank you so much. Also, if you wouldn't mind just hitting that like button, that appreciate it. Uh, leave a comment, you know, leave a comment if this resonated with you in any way, or if you just want to put, leave something funny and positive in the, in the comments section, also put that in there. Um, and, you know, share this video and hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. But thank you so much, uh, Virgos, and have a great week. Bye.